On to other important breaking that we are tracking at this point, a massive symbolic funeral of Hezbollah secretary, General Hassan Nasrallah, who was killed in an Israeli airstrike will be held today. Israel, Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei will lead the prayers from Iran. Now, Israel has claimed that Thursday's strike have killed 15 Hezbollah members on the ongoing Israel-Hezbollah conflict. Israeli forces have claimed that their strikes have eliminated 15 members of Hezbollah group. In these strikes, Hezbollah commander presumed successor Hashim Saifuddin has been eliminated. Uh, now, meanwhile, Hezbollah has not commented on Israel's claim yet. All right, joining me uh, on the broadcast back is my guest, Wing Commander Prapul Bakshi. Sir, you know, Israel has now claimed that 15 Hezbollah leaders have been eliminated. And very importantly, they have in fact also uh, tried to eliminate and uh, have been successful in their attempt uh, after targeting the strikes directly in Beirut, uh, Hashim Sefuddin. It is of very uh, crucial importance about uh, the role of Sefuddin in this entire conflict rising. And uh, as far as when we talk about the impact goes on to the Hezbollah side, it is in fact of a great prominence of the killing of such a potential figure by Israeli strikes. Absolutely right. Uh, a person like Sefuddin, of course, was uh, uh, in the main scheme of things. He had planned out a number of operations earlier, and uh, he was well, uh, very well respected, and they expected uh, quite a lot from him. And it was a great shock to the, uh, the command of Hezbollah. But uh, there's, let us not uh, uh, think that after him, there will be nobody. Very soon, they are getting every... Uh, a place filled when they, when they lose a initial uh, a shock, initial impact may be there, but one must not even think about uh, you know, uh, think in a way that now all is lost for them their fight is will continue even if they don't get a person of the quality, they will continue because that it is a thought process which the uh, American and uh, Israel are fighting against, there is not a group which they think that you will wipe out of 500 or 600 of them and then they are finished. That they will not. They will not be able to do it. So this aspect is that this is going to continue for a very long time. They may even kill number of more leaders. That is not going to affect until they go and physically occupy the place where they are. And that is where they can do that. Until Because the mother countries which are helping, like Iran, that Iran, till such time, it, and uh, Iran with China, if they can pr keep producing and keep supplying and keep financing these aspects, uh, these uh, operations, you can take the risk. You can be rest assured that this will continue for a very, very long time. Hmm. Wing Commander Praful Bakshi, also when we are talking about the escalating tensions in the Middle East, the crude oil prices have also soared high. And, you know, they have been impacted by what's happening in the Middle East and the fear of a wider conflict breaking out that could disrupt the global uh, oil flows. Uh, how do you see possibly uh, um, um, an impact of the crude oil prices rising given uh, what's happening in the Middle East and now also the West Taxes Intermediate, the WTI uh, crude futures have also closed 5% higher. So what does this exactly mean for when we talk about the impact uh, directly or indirectly uh, to be given to India as well? Yeah. You must understand all right from to get the resources in hand. The entire Middle East politics and cartographic change has been carried out with oil in mind. Right from beginning, all these shakedowns, etc., they became rich overnight because of availability of oil. The so oil is going to be the target at all. But the question is, the countries like Russia, America, they all have their reserve oil fields and available. They will always strike at the source 
which is not going to make an effect to them. They are not very much bothered as what is going to happen to the world. That they will only pay lip service. The entire Middle East, of course, uh, the countries which are getting oil from the Middle East, they will face the problem. They will face uh, hardships. But uh, even uh, the oil suppliers, after some time, when you see, they also will uh, face this problem again. So that is why, if you notice, all these rich oil countries buy weapons more and more to protect their assets. And everybody does the political manipulation uh, towards them, keeping oil in mind. So oil will always be the main point of political uh, manipulation. And all the fights will be there to take the oil fields and keep the oil fields in mind. Russia does it. China is doing it. So is America doing it. Let us see how the Middle East fight gets on. But it will not be a good news for all our countries. Well, India will probably be able to sail through with alternate source, etc. But even we in this part of the world will get affected very uh, quite badly when the oil crisis comes. Hmm. Most certainly. Wing Commander Prafur Bakshi, thank you for speaking to NewsX and giving us your time at this very important discussion that we are holding, you know, in detail about the